guys, this is J5 Lover, your number one Jackson 5 and Michael Jackson fan. And today I'm going to be talking about the Got To Be There album. But before we get started with that, let's talk about this day in Michael Jackson history. Well, this day in Michael Jackson history, September 29th, 1979, Michael Jackson's album Off the Wall actually peaks at number five on the top 60 albums charts in Britain. And it stays there for like 173 weeks, which is insane. It's unheard of. And it was a complete record-breaking moment for Michael Jackson early on in his career, which he would, of course, have so many more record-breaking moments it's even more powerful than that. Awesome job, Michael. So today, talking about Got To Be There, actually before I get to Got To Be There, I had to share with you guys this amazing Michael Jackson poster I got in the mail recently. I, I love it. It's actually from 1972, and it's kind of weird, but it wasn't until I put on my shirt today that I realized my t-shirt and my poster are twinning. <laughs> Same photo shoot. <laughs> Anyway, getting back to my discussion about Got To Be There, it's actually my favorite Michael Jackson uh, Motown solo album. And it had some really great songs and covers on it. I, I just, before I even get to the songs, I love the photography on this album. The cover, the front cover, and the back cover. Now, these photos were taken by a photographer named Jim Britt. And I'll show you guys some of his pictures right now during this Got To Be There session. He actually took a lot of photos of the Jackson Five um, throughout their career. Um, I, I love it. I, I think he's a great photographer. And in the future, I would actually like to cover um, some of the pictures that he took of the Jackson 5 and some of my other favorite Jacksons and Jackson 5 photographers. Okay, so getting back to the Got To Be There album, it was released on January 24th, 1972, and it was Michael Jackson's first solo Motown record. And he'd actually signed a solo contract with Motown Records back in 1971, which is um, the year he started working on the Got To Be There album. And there were two singles that were released from this album, Got To Be There and Rockin' Robin, which I will get to those songs in a moment. The album starts out with Ain't No Sunshine, which is a Bill Withers cover. I really enjoy Michael's version. Now, um, I, I love Bill Withers, so would I say that it's better than Bill Withers' cover? No, I'm gonna be honest. But I think it's a great cover, especially, you know, he was so young still and to have so much passion and conviction in his voice. And Michael's voice had kind of matured at this point by 1972, late 1971. He was able to kind of hit some lower notes that he wasn't formerly able to hit. So I think, um, you know, he really held his own in this song. Um, the next song is I Want to Be Where You Are, which is an iconic song, which I think that the Jackson 5 were able to sing a lot of times in concert as well. Um, um, I love watching those performances um, of the Jackson 5 on stage and Michael singing this song, especially during um, the 1972 performance of Save the Children. Um, I just think, you know, he sounds amazing. I think it's a great song. It kind of has kind of a somber edge to it, but also a very positive, upbeat uh, sound. Uh, what a great song. Um, the next song, Girl Don't Take Your Love For Me. Um, I love that song. It's probably actually my very favorite song on this album. Um, I remember falling in love with that song when I was a very little kid. And I just, the music is so beautiful. Michael's vocals are so like spot on in this song. Uh, it's just such an amazing and beautiful melody. And I think, you know, Michael, I don't think he could sing better than he does in this song at this time. Um, in Our Small Way, which is funny because um, the song actually was also premiered on his second solo album with Motown Records, Ben. So I, I don't know why they actually uh, put the song on two records back to back, but they did. Um, this is probably, sadly enough, I hate to say my least favorite song on the album. Not that it's a bad song. I actually really like In Our Small Way. Uh, lyrically, I think it's good. Musically, I think it's just okay. It's a little slow for me. Um, uh, it, it's a song that if I have the CD or album and I was playing it, well, not so much the album, but if I had the CD in my car, I might skip it. Just, it's one of those songs that I could take or leave. 
Uh, the last song on side A is Got To Be There, one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs of all time. It's such a beautiful, beautiful song, you know, uh, and of course, and I've talked about this before, and I will leave the link in my description. There is Michael Jackson strip mixes uh, on CD, and you can hear it here on YouTube, and Got To Be There is one of the tracks on those stripped mixes. And it's so incredible just to hear just how great Michael's vocals really were at this time and on this song and all of those songs that are on that CD. Um, I just, I love the purity in his voice, the purity in the music. And I think the lyrics are very, very special. Um, can you imagine someone singing that song to you? They have to be there with you every moment that they get the chance to be there with you. I, I just think that is so beautiful, romantic, and special. Got to be there. I just love it. I, I just think it's so beautiful. And I think that song hit me, hit my heart to the core from such a young age. All right, so moving on to side B, uh, Rockin' Robin. Now, this song was originally recorded by Bobby Bird back in 1958. It is not one of my favorite songs on the album. I think probably because it's one of the most played songs, but it I actually like the original version. It's very 50s, of course. Um, Michael had fun with this song. And of course, I loved watching him perform it on American Bandstand back in 1972. Um, but it's, it's not one of my favorite songs. I think Michael did a, a decent job. He kind of updated it from the 50s into the 70s. Um, the next song, Wings of My Love, I absolutely love that song. And I love that they actually featured that song on the Jackson 5 cartoon as well. Um, I think it's beautiful. It's just, it puts you in a very uh, kind of just happy mood. Um, it's very dreamlike and um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful song. And I think Michael's vocals lend such a great hand. And I love the strings in this song as well. Um, Maria, you were the only one. I love that song. <laughs> I, I think Michael did a good job. Um, one of my favorites, one of the earliest songs I also remember hearing. I think it has a very haunting kind of melody to it. Um, that guitar, you know, and like that really cool kind of 70s. <sighs> so again, I love this album and I, I love, um, that sound, especially of the early 70s. And you hear a lot of iconic um, instrumentation on this album from that time period. Next would be Love Is Here and Now You're Gone. And that is a Supremes cover. Um, not one of my favorite Supremes songs, but I think Michael actually did it justice. He actually brings a song up and I think his vocals are so beautiful and lovely on this song. And I love it. And the last song would be You've Got a Friend, which was written by Carol King back in 1971. That song is so funny because, so the song was released in 1971 and between 1971 and 1972, so many artists released that song and covered it. it it's so weird. You, uh, you have Carol King, you have Donny Hathaway, you have James Taylor, you have, uh, you know, Isaac Hayes, and of course, Michael Jackson. <laughs> so I really love that song, actually. And I think all of them did an amazing job on that song. And I, I love Michael's version of this song. It actually brings chills to me every time I hear it. Um, I, I can't tell you whose version I love the best, because I, I actually, I love them all. Uh, I hear Michael's version. It just, it brings chills to me. Um, I really love uh, his harmony on the chorus of this song, you know. You got a friend, oh, oh, baby, oh, now. You've got a friend. It's just so beautiful, and I, it's one of my favorite, probably, I don't know if it's my first or second favorite song on the album, but I think Michael just does an amazing job. This is a song I have definitely hit on repeat. Okay, so that concludes my uh, review of the album Got To Be There. Like, like I said, it is my favorite album uh, from Michael Jackson uh, released on Motown Records. I, and like I said, I, I even love the clothes he's wearing in this. His, you know, um, 
Well, you can't really tell so much uh, from this video, but he has like a tie-dye sweater on, this really cool gray suede hat, and this great brown corduroy jacket that he wears. I, I just love this and it's so iconic. And it's a must listen if you have not heard this album. One, I no, not one of the best album, solo album Michael released on Motown Records. So uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. And um, I'm also on Instagram and you can follow me there. The link will be in the description. Uh, and also, uh, if you guys want to talk about uh, this album in the comments, what are your favorite songs? Uh, do you agree with my favorites? Um, uh, is there any songs that you don't care for? <laughs> Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.